Hey guys, you won't believe what we picked up. Don't miss this episode. Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, so this is going to be kind of a weird video. I know my last couple of videos have been a little bit on the somber side. Uh, we talked about low cash flow and not a, a whole lot of sourcing going on. So I guess the lesson for this video is going to be just to never give up because you're never going to know when an opportunity presents itself. So here's the backstory. This last weekend, I went to a number of garage sales. And the first garage sale that I went to uh, touted Lego sets. And I'm always a little bit hesitant to look at Lego sets just for the fact that sometimes they're gonna be overpriced. You don't know if there's gonna be complete sets or not. Legos can sometimes be hot or cold, and they're normally on the hot side, but it just really depends. Well, I really wasn't prepared for what I ran into. Um, all I can say is that this person had a ton of Lego sets, and most of them, well, I would say a good portion of them were already completed and on display, and they appeared to have their boxes and manuals and such, and they even had you know bins of other Lego sets at the uh, at the garage sale. Well, I got to talking to the person who was running the sale, and I asked just out of curiosity if they had thought ever about selling all of their sets as one single lot. And it kind of piqued her interest, and she's like, "Oh, well, hey, I have others inside. Do you want to see?" And I'm not joking when I say that it looked like a Lego factory in this person's house. I was shocked, to say the least. Um, and of course, at that point, I was just like, well, this deal is done because I'm not going to be able to be able to afford anything. Well, um, you know, I, I kind of wrote it off and I gave her my, my information. I said, if you want to go ahead and consider selling everything together, I wouldn't even know what to offer at this point. Uh, I, I'm curious to know what you would like for them. So think about it and get back to me. And I left. I went to other garage sales, spent about $7 for the rest of the day on some miscellaneous stuff. And it just wasn't a great day of sourcing altogether. So long story short is that I hear back from the lady. She sends me a bunch of sets. Uh, she sends me a list of all that she has, things that are complete things that she thinks might be complete um, and sends me some other things that she might have, you know, I might, she, that I might be inter interested in buying. Um, still at this point, I have no idea what I'm looking at as far as price. I mean, I'm thinking in my head, you know, thousands of dollars. Well, I ended up going through with the deal. We made a deal. It was a pretty good deal, I thought. Let me turn the camera around and show you what we're up against. <laughs> this is honestly the biggest buy I've ever done all at one time. It's a little bit overwhelming, but let me see if I can show you. So I'm going to stop the video. I'll come back in just a second and uh, we'll take a look together. Okay, here is my living room that, as you can see, is absolutely packed full of stuff. Now, this is a wide angle shot here. So I have the couch, I have the recliner, I have a table set up in front of the entertainment center. I have this over here. Oh, okay, let's just dump, jump, let's just jump in and I will show you what I what we have here. Let me kind of fix this, there we go. So most of these are Legos. This is amazing, most of these are Legos. Let me show you the good stuff first. We have a sand crawler here. And again, this might be a little bit hard to see because they're all wrapped up. And cellophane to, to keep all the pieces together. But this is a new box. This has not been opened. And they still have all of the garage sale prices on there. Literally just got done unloading everything. Uh, anyone who is familiar with Legos ought to know that these together can go for some big time bucks. So we have the, uh, the Ghost and there's something else. What is that called? I can't remember right now. But yes, it's there and I believe there's some Lego minifigs there. Over here, we have some Minecraft complete sets here, along with the box, along with the instructions. We have more Lego Minecraft over here. Lego Star Wars. This is the Gre or no, this is the Malevolence ship. I don't know if it's complete right now. I don't know. There's another Star Wars over there. 
some of some other sets here before we get into some other things. There's a Scooby-Doo set over there. There's more Star Wars. There's stuff in bags. I have stuff piled up everywhere. Here's some more Lego Star Wars. I believe that's an X-Wing of some sort. Some more Lego Star Wars over there. We have more Minecraft. We have Lego Bionicle. We have even more Minecraft. A huge Minecraft one set up. It's really hard to see because of the uh, the wrap, but that's called the mine. We have Lego Star Wars. I believe that's the ATST. We have something from the Lego Movie. More Lego Star Wars. We have Star Wars in boxes here. I think these are complete but just not assembled. We have more over here. Oh my goodness, look at all these sets. This is the Moss Eisley uh, set from Star Wars. It's got that little band over here. The, you can see those guys down there. Hero Squad. That's just the sets. That's a lot to begin with. Down here, we have even more. This giant Ziploc bag is full of Lego Bionicle. I mean, this is set upon set of Bionicle. We have Lego Chima. Looks to be complete except for the rubber bands. I don't know what even that means. There's rubber bands and Legos. Who knew? Something Power Rangers. We have this giant guy here. <laughs> Check this out, y'all. This, these are all unassembled sets right here in this giant bag. This bag probably weighs about 30 pounds. And we have some other pieces sorted by color. And in addition to Lego, we have a ton of, um, let's say, Thomas stuff. Thomas the Train. All sorts of different sets. There's a bag back here of stuff that I didn't even look at yet. I, I don't even know. There's more Thomas here. These bags are just all full of miscellaneous stuff. There's more Lego in here. Unbelievable. I see there, there's a Monster High doll right there. More Star Wars branded stuff. A whole box of Lego Mixels, which I don't even know what those are. I had to look those up. More Lego back here. Some giant octopus type thing. We got, let's see here, Lego Chima. We got Harry Potter. We got Ninjago. All sorts of stuff. More Thomas. A whole box. Over, I, like I said, I don't even know what half this stuff is. More Lego boxes. Which means that these sets here are probably disassembled and put in there. There's a Lego sorter. There's a whole bag of Lego Chima. There's this Thomas thing right here. Unbelievable. This whole bag right here, just to show you, this is uh, about as tall as I am, or about half as tall as I am, full of Lego boxes. So all of the unassembled kits that I have, I have to go through with this right here. What is this one? That's Hogwarts Castle. Look at that. Wow. That's crazy. So I'm pretty stoked if you couldn't already tell. I'm out of breath because just unloading and loading this stuff was quite a task. Just the gravity of what I'm up against is immense. So we, we did the deal, like I said. She originally quoted me 900 for the Legos, just the Legos only. And I was all in at that price for sure. Who wouldn't be, right? I mean, I did my research and I think that there's a, a good profit to be made. She did uh, end up saying that she would actually throw in all of the other stuff, all of the Thomas and all of these other things that you see here, the, the Power Rangers, uh, you know, all of that other stuff. She would have given me it for 900 total. Um, so today is the day that we actually did the deal. We just picked this stuff up here a little while ago. And uh, before we went over there, she sent me some additional photos uh, of some other things, some Justice League figures and some, some other collectibles. And I said, you know what, let's just, I'll give you a thousand total for, for all that stuff. And she agreed. Um, you know, they were looking to actually move. They were trying to get their house on the market. And as you can imagine, with all this stuff in the house, it's kind of hard to get that to get that going, but 
This is, like I said, the largest deal that I've ever done. I'm a little overwhelmed at this point, but super excited to get started. I honestly don't know where I'm going to start. Well, that's not true. I'm going to list this thing first. That's a new seal. That's going to be easy. Um, and then go from there. Uh, I, I'm really thankful we're not hosting Thanksgiving dinner this year because, uh, as you can see, there wouldn't be any place to sit. And like I said, you know, these bags are not small bags. These are the giant Ziploc bags that have just stuff upon stuff. And I, I'm going to find stuff that I didn't even know that I'm buying in here. I think she threw in a, a pair of antique candlesticks. Uh, these were the Justice League things that she put in today. Binders of instruction manuals. Again, just an unbelievable deal. And all because I just said, hey, had you thought about maybe selling everything together? And it, it just kind of snowballed from there. And I guess it was meant to be because the deal came together uh, really uh, pretty much on its own. So I'm really thankful to this buyer. I know that she was kind of in a bad situation wanting to get this stuff out of her house. Well, now it's in my house. So I guess that's a win-win for her and I. So tell me guys in the comments below if you think the deal was worth it. Um, I mean, it's not going to be for lack of work. Obviously, there's going to be a ton of work involved. But given the fact that there's this much stuff, it should you know hopefully keep us busy for quite some time. So again, let me know what you think, and um, uh, I don't know. I, I'm just completely overwhelmed at this point, but overwhelmed in a, in a good sense, for sure. All right, well, guys, thanks for watching, and if this is part of a longer video, then you'll probably see some what solds, so stick around. That's a crazy pickup, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I am still in awe of the amount of stuff that we picked up. Uh, now, I am recording this episode about a week and a half or so, maybe two weeks after we picked up all that stuff. And we are still going through everything just to try to figure out what it is. We've actually put together quite a number of sets. We've sold quite a number of sets. Um, and so I'll probably try to do a recap here on the next episode just to give you guys an idea of where we stand on that tremendous buy. I'm, I'm still in shock. But now let's get to some sales that have taken place. Um, this is actually a number of weeks back. I'm sorely behind on the uh, on the what sold. So this time frame is about August 30th to September 9. It was kind of during one of our slow times, but I packed in a number of uh, a good sales. So check these out. As always, we'll stick with our eBay sales. So from August 30 to September 9. The first item that sold from that time period was this L'Oreal Touch On Color Eyes and Cheeks Blush. It was a go-go gold color. They were new in package, still sealed, and the buyer bought two of them for $19.98 free ship. The next item up was this set of vintage Girl Scout brownie badges, which sold for $4.99 plus shipping. Next up, we had this Robot Safari STEM Model Engineering Kit, which we took a best offer of $9.39 plus shipping. Next up, we had this vintage Jack Daniels Old Number no. 7 Whiskey Strapback Hat, which sold for $9.99 plus shipping. The next item was from our Gina consignment lot. This was a Jones New York Signature Petite Ladies Pink Wool Blend Tweed Blazer in size 10P, and it sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next up, we had this new in-package Oral-B Advanced Power 900 Rechargeable Electric Toothbrush. We picked this up from a Goodwill for just a couple of dollars, and we sold it for $37.59 on a best offer plus shipping. Next up was a good sale. This was bought in a bundle of other action figures at a garage sale, just digging through some old bins of toys. This was the Street Sharks. His name was Streaks. He was a two-inch mini action figure, and he sold for $16.99 plus shipping. This next item up was a consignment sale from my oldest daughter, Deidre. This was a Playboy by PacSun Men's XL Black Pullover Sweatshirt. This sold for $18.99 plus shipping. Next up was this vintage pair of Garfield Anchor Hocking Juice Glasses, which sold for $19.99 plus shipping. 
Following that, we had this new with tags, Nike Men's XL University of Oklahoma OU Sooners Polo. This sold for $22.99 plus shipping. Next up was some more makeup. This was a L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick Foundation, which sold for $10.99 free shipping. If memory serves, this next item was featured on one of our garage sale hauls. This was a ornate red enameled jeweled egg trinket box, which had an interior magnetic closure, and it sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next up, we had this Hasbro Scrabble Twist Crossword Pass and Play Word Game. It was new in the package, and it sold for $12.99 plus shipping. This next item took a while to sell, but I'm glad that it finally did. This was a 2018 Stella Artois Limited Edition Chalice featuring the Mexico theme. It was, of course, a drinking glass, new in the box. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. This next item was from one of our many flatware bulk purchases. This was a vintage Plymouth silver plate, seven inch round bowl gumbo spoon, and it sold for a whopping $1.99 plus shipping. Now, of course, I'm not gonna complain about a small sale like that. Like I said, these were purchased in bulk, and so any money that we make back is always good. The next item was this new era, NFL football Tennessee Titans adjustable strap back hat and it sold for $9.99 plus shipping. This next sale was a great one. This was a vintage Aspen downhill skiing lapel pin, and it sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next up, we had this new sealed Tuscan Hills cherry blossom bath set, which sold for $6.99 plus shipping. Following that, we had this Thai Beanie Babies. This was Sweetheart the Orangutan. He sold for $5.99 plus shipping. This next item was featured on a garage sale haul video, if I'm not mistaken. This was also um, kind of an unexpected item. I didn't think that I had this. I just kind of ran across it, maybe inside something else. This was a vintage 1980s Rubik's Cube toy pamphlet. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next up was this new with tags Walnut Creek Men's XLT plaid button shirt, and this sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Up next, we had another makeup sale. This was a pair of NYX Sculpt and Highlight Brow Contour Eyebrow Pencils. These together sold for $17.98 free shipping. Following that, we had this 2006 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fast Forward Donatello and he sold for $11.99 plus shipping. The next item was a replacement part from a Disney Junior Vampirina playset. This was a record player and by itself sold for $9.99 plus shipping. If you run across this next item's brand, be sure to pick it up. This was a pair of South Pole jeans. These were men's size 34, which had an embroidered back. These sold for $39.99 plus shipping. This next item I picked up for a quarter at a garage sale, and I knew that it would sell, but I honestly didn't know what it was. Had to do some research. This was a vintage Groombacher metal mouth atomizer. It had the original box, and it sold for $16.99 plus shipping. From what I understand, this is used in sort of uh, an airbrush technique, uh, where you can actually um, blow through this item, and it'll actually uh, atomize the paint. So had no idea. Next up, we had this set of Stampin' Up! stamps. This was a six-piece Wood Mountain stamp set, and it sold for a best offer of $6.50 plus shipping. Following that, we had this New With Tags Navy Blue LSU hat, and it sold for $9.99 plus shipping. This next item was a really good sale. This was an Ultimate Soldier model, a 118th scale TBF-1 Avenger airplane, and it sold for a best offer of $209.24 plus shipping. Now, this model is actually pretty huge. It's a 118th scale, which means it's gigantic. And I bought this one and another one at the thrift store that my daughter works at. And I think that these were listed for $150 each. 
Um, but I was, every time we went in there, just watching their sales, um, they eventually did go on sale for half price. So I picked these both up. Uh, like I said, this one and another one like it for $75 each. So selling it for $209, not a bad profit. The next item was this vintage 1974 Bedazzler by Ronco. This ended up selling for $9.99 plus shipping. Seems like we're selling uh, fewer and fewer in books these days, but I'm glad to see that these finally sold. This was a lot of 31 Debbie McComer paperback books, which spanned 10 different series, 53 stories total, and together they sold for $34.99 plus shipping. In the last eBay sale for this specific time period was this set of 12 peace sign owl and flower cute trippy groovy pencils and uh, I actually had a number of these packages a customer came in and bought six of them for a total of $14.94 plus shipping. Okay so now that we are done with eBay let's jump over to our Mercari store and see what has sold out of there roughly around the same time period. We'll start with this Disney Star Darlings collection. It was volumes three and four, six different stories in all, two paperback books. Together they sold for $8 plus shipping. This next sale was from one of our many flatware hauls. This was a vintage three-piece set of teaspoons from International Silver in the Ivanhoe pattern, and together they sold for $6 plus shipping. This next item was a really quick sale, if I recall this sold in about 15 minutes after I listed it. This was a Ban Presto I Love Pikachu plush wallet and purse. It had a zip pocket and ID holder, and it sold for $12 plus shipping. This next sale was from our Plushy Mania haul. If you don't remember that video, go back and check it out. Uh, my wife and I went to a local estate sale. Uh, it was at the last day, and so things were heavily discounted. We came back with just a crap ton of plushies. And this sale was for Gus and Jacques. Of course, these were the mice from Disney's Cinderella. These were both new with tags, and together they sold for $25 plus shipping. Next up was this new with tags, Ladies Jones New York lined coat, and it sold for $18 plus shipping. This next item up was another plushie. This time it was from the movie Inside Out. This was the Red Anger Emotion. He was a nine inch plush and he sold for $8 plus shipping. This next item was a, another plush. As you can see, plush really seems to sell well for us on Mercari. This was a 1993 Legs the Green Frog plush, and he sold for $6 plus shipping. The next item was this 2015 Starbucks mug. It was the Alabama mug from the You Are Here collection. This sold for $10 plus shipping. And the last item to sell from our Mercari store was this Disney Loungefly Finding Dory wallet, and it ended up selling for $21 plus shipping. Rounding out today's video, we will go through some of the Poshmark sales that have taken place recently. Now, Poshmark has been fairly slow for us. Now, we are not listing a ton of new clothes, but we are sharing our closet multiple times per week using Flip, but a sale is a sale, and we'll take them as they come. So the first sale from our Poshmark closet was this Lily Pulitzer men's size large solid yellow green palm tree logo shirt, which sold for $30 plus shipping. Next up was another Disney bean bag from Plushy Mania. This was a Sebastian and Flounder plush pair and together they sold for $14 plus shipping. Next up was the Scentsy Fire Department theme full size wax warmer which sold for $40 plus shipping. Next up, we had this new in box Rabbit Brand electric wine opener set, and it sold for $25 plus shipping. Following that, we had this pair of Skechers, women's size nine, solid black, dual strap, Lux foam comfort sandals, which sold for $17 plus shipping. After that, we sold this pair of Merrill women's size nine and a half Jungle Mock Classic Taupe Slip-On Shoes, and these sold for $25 plus shipping. 
Next up, we had this 2017 white Starbucks mug, and it sold for $8 plus shipping. This next item was also a consignment sale for my oldest daughter, Deidre. This was a pair of Coolabura by Ugg men's size 9 black faux fur fuzzy slippers, and these sold for $30 plus shipping. The next item was this pair of Keen women's size 8 Voyager hiking comfort shoes, and these sold for $29 plus shipping. And the last item of this video and the last sale of our Poshmark store from this time was Stardance. This was a full-size Scentsy wax warmer. It was new open box, but a discontinued pattern. So it sold for $45 plus shipping. Well, guys, that is about it for today's video. As you can imagine, I have a lot of Legos pending. And so I'm going to go and list some more sets. So with that, thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you wouldn't mind, go ahead and drop a comment below. Let me know how you think we did on this sale. Um, I'm curious to know your thoughts and uh, how long you might think it would take us to list all that stuff. So with that, thank you for watching again to the end. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And with that, I will see you next time.